We'll make a start. Uh, my name is um, Alvin Birdie. I think I've met many of you in this room already. I'm the director of the Economics Network, and we've been um, supporting CORE uh, from its inception, really. And I'll say a little bit about why we did that a little bit later. But it's a very exciting project. And, um, and as those of you who've been somewhat involved in it or who know anything about it will be aware, it's uh, very much a sort of crowdsourced project which has been uh, gaining contributions from a whole number of people from around the globe and we can the part this is this session here is partly uh, an attempt also to bring more people into the core community so we hope that you will also be part of that community of people that are continuing to contribute to core success and bringing it out to the rest of the world uh, there are a number of projects now it started as kind of a textbook. It's now a whole set of big, big set of resources. Uh, it also has a new website called Doing Economics. There's a new version of CORE aimed at essentially non-economists or social scientists in particular. So it's a, it's a growing and very vibrant project. So it's a very kind of, um, it's, a, it's a good time to, to, to get involved and, and, and contribute to it. I just want to, uh, a couple of, just, just a few logistics first of all, then I just want to go around the room and ask who you are and where you're from. Uh, I think that would be quite useful so that people yeah. are aware of the diversity of people here and their varied experiences with CORE. So just the logistics first of all, we're not expecting a fire alarm, so if we do have one you need to do the right thing by it. Uh, there are, the toilets are really close by here, they're just, as you go out of this room, immediately opposite there, there are toilets. Um, and. Um, as you can tell, I hope, we're filming this session. <laughs> so, so do let us know if you have any problems with that. We will also be taking photographs through the sessions as, as well. The only other thing logistically to make you aware of is that we actually have two rooms for this um, workshop but, and, and two buildings. So one of the rooms is in this building, which is the one you're in now, but the other room is next door uh, to, to that side. You go out of this uh, building, turn left, and, and you'll see it's another kind of modern glass fronted building for uh, nanosciences so uh, and, and we're in the ground floor there so a li little bit later on we'll split you into two groups experienced and and, and new users of core and um, and that's where we'll be so we'll be moving between the two buildings I'll just uh, quickly introduce Wendy who probably doesn't need an introduction because she is the founder of core well, <laughs> with many other so Wendy Carlin from UCL. Okay, yeah. So it's it's really great to see people here, um, and and to see this mixture of, of very some extremely familiar faces who've been involved in the project from its beginnings, which were in 2013, uh, to people who I don't know. So I'm really looking forward to meeting you. So um, I would just say a few words uh, on the origins of the project to bring everyone up to speed. Uh, there, are, there are really two kind of uh, real origins, if you like, of the project. And one of them is, is represented by uh, Camila Sia, who's here from Chile. Uh, and what, what was happening in Chile uh, in 2011 was that there was a strike of high school students. And uh, there was a lot of discontent about what was happening in terms of inequality in Chile and the role of economic policy. The students from the university went out to the classrooms and were supporting the students, but then it kind of dawned on them that, uh, oh dear, um, why is it that in our classrooms in the university we are learning nothing about inequality? So they kind of marched back into the university and said, well, uh, faculty, you know, what about stepping up? How about uh, doing something about this? And so that pressure uh, generated by linking concern with real-world issues to the undergraduate classroom was, if you like, that's the kind of motif of the core project, um, although I think we're, we're now going well beyond the undergraduate classroom. And that connected with uh, a group of people who had been really animated by doing something by the criticisms of economists that emerged so strongly in the wake of the financial crisis. So it was kind of the coming together of these two sort of uh, themes um, in the form of a group of people who are passionate about 
uh, how powerful economics can be as a tool for understanding the world and making the world work better. Uh, the, very well aware of all the great work that is being done by economics researchers and feeling dissatisfied with w what was turning up uh, for, for students. So that's the, that's the kind of background. What we've done, as Alvin said, is that by really harnessing digital technology, we've been able to move really fast to get material out and into the classroom. And we have some, some pioneers here who are who have, uh, the battle-scarred pioneers who taught the very first beta version of, of the economy in 2014. And as I said, we had kind of the first meetings for CORE in 2013. So to get something into the classroom so quickly was, uh, was extraordinary. But it's been, it's been the reason we've been, we've been able to mobilize the feedback from students and teachers to improve it. So uh, first beta, then a second beta, and then the 1.0 version, which is this kind of weightlifting um, object over here. Uh, as well as online, is the product of this really fast turnover. Uh, so the interaction of the digital technology with the crowdsourcing of, of comments, criticisms, errors, we now have a continuous flow of error correction, um, which, which uh, I think we've just completed the fourth batch. Eileen, is that right? Yeah. So we've, we've now had four for, uh, if you like, so it's 1.0, so it should really be one point, whatever it is in the software code, 1.0, 1, 1.23, whatever, because those four revisions have appeared online and Oxford University Press have printed the pages. They're on, I think, their whatever, fourth or fifth or something, sixth printing of the pages, and whenever they reprint, they print the corrected pages. So this is also quite revolutionary for a publisher. And it means that we're keeping the online and the physical uh, books, you know, quite tightly connected and getting away from this sort of edition mentality that, uh, that publishers have traditionally had as a sort of money-making scheme. But, um, you know, we've stepped aside from that by having the online version uh, available uh, for free. Um, I just uh, also wanted to mention, uh, Alvin introduced the two new projects funded by the Nuffield Foundation, the Economy Society and Public Policy, and the Doing Economics. You can see very quickly which they are when you go to the website because they're in green rather than in red, so the, the, uh, there's, there's a sort of association there. Um, and uh, particularly tomorrow, we're going to kind of get it into the nuts and bolts of the Doing Economics, uh, which is, which is, is a... I think it's a great example for CORE, which is we didn't have it in mind when, when we applied for the grant. So we didn't know what we were going to do. We said that we were going to prepare some empirical projects. Okay, as it's turned out, this has kind of taken flight and has turned into a much bigger project than, than uh, was initially, uh, it was initially conceived as. The other uh, aspect of CORE, and I think that the... Uh, mentioning the, the Chile influence very early on is that this is a, a really global project and we have people here, so when you introduce yourselves, I think that uh, we'll, we'll also <coughs> have some representation of that global feeling even in the room. And uh, if you look on the core blog, so this week um, there's been a bit of a flurry of blogs, but there was one blog that came from Kabul, so uh, two academics have just completed a year's teaching of core at the American University of Afghanistan and with, with considerable success. And uh, it's a very vivid um, uh, feedback to us that in these classrooms in Afghanistan with plenty of women in the classroom, uh, they've, been, um, they've been getting to grips with core and we hope that that will also feed into the broader South Asian project, which is uh, being uh, led from Bangalore with participation from Lahore. So we really have a community emerging in South Asia. Uh, in, we've also had news this week from South Africa, 
where they've been teaching core in Pretoria to a massive cohort, I think something like 3,000 students uh, so, yeah, under really quite challenging conditions. So uh, that's happening in Africa. <coughs> you may have seen that the French version of the ebook is now online. The entire 1,100 pages worth is in French. So if you're thinking of learning French, this is a, a good way to learn French. And you can test yourself by doing the MCQs in French. Uh, there's an Italian version as a hard, as a physical book, and there'll be an e-book um, coming uh, next year in, in Italian. Uh, there's a team in Brazil creating a version in Portuguese, and there's also a Spanish translation uh, as a collaboration between Chile, Colombia, and Spain. So uh, we'll have a Spanish version too. So that's a lot is happening kind of interna internationally, but I think what we'd we'd uh, like to do next is for you to just swing around the room quickly, introduce yourself in one or two sentences so people get a sense of the mixture of, of people that we've got here. Okay? So why don't we start at the front here? I'm Shima Dekhazi. I work at the Office for Natural Statistics, which is the National Statistics Institute for the UK. And maybe just a sentence of your interest in CORE. So, from my perspective, uh, we're looking to promote, um, I suppose, educational uh, interest in applied economic statistics. So, we're looking to develop material, kind of reach out much more to university students to kind of develop that as hopefully a module, but also some textbook learning so we can kind of explain a lot more of the context of the numbers that we produce. Great. I'm Paula, I'm a PhD student at UCL. And I'm interested uh, in the workshop, especially because I'm a teaching assistant in econometrics and microeconomics. And also, I'm very interested in the economics of education. So. Mm. I'm Tom Palmer. I'm teaching on the same course as Paula. And I'm completely new to teaching and new to course. So. I'm Jared Abujade. Um, I work at the Institute for Global Health as well at UCL. And, um, same yeah, thing. so this is not the economics department at UCL. This, <laughs> this is the Institute... Uh, for global health, so it's mostly applied health economics. Okay, great. Judith, next. Um, I'm Judith. Is it on? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm Judith Shapiro. Um, I'm at LSE, and for the last 13 years, my main job has been to nag the rest of the economics department into paying attention to undergraduates. Uh, I'm going to get some additional forces so I can do other things. And when I'm in my, it has been in my spare time, but the other things include my interest, in fact, in, glo in the only lecturing I've done in the last 13 years, which has been global health for um, people from the former transition countries uh, of Eastern Europe. And my other interest in my little cameo performances at our LSE PKU uh, summer school, where I teach economics of gender in an, uh, in, a, in an Asian and comparative perspective, so globally also. So that's in China? Yes, that's in China. Yeah. It's at PK at Beida itself, but it's an LSE joint uh, two-week cram it all in, but, which is a problem. But other than that, it's a full terms course, mm -hmm. really. Yeah. Uh, hello, I'm Henry Duncanson. I'm based in Bristol here. Uh, I've taught core basically since Alvin brought it in, and I guess sort of knowing it a little bit better would really help. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, I'm Anna. Uh, I'm here with uh, my colleague uh, Tristan from the Netherlands, Erasmus University College in Rotterdam. And uh, we use CORE for our uh, yeah, core economics course, which is mandatory for all students who are also not economists. So and it's about uh, 200 students uh, each year. Um, yeah, so yeah, we're interested uh, in uh, the new developments and in general. Also, we're interested to learn how you guys uh, use it uh, for, for different courses. Yeah, so that's basically also my introduction. My name is Tristan Kik, um, so Erasmus University College Rotterdam. Um, so this is the the Erasmus yes, University College Rotterdam. Yeah, indeed. Which is a because people won't know that's a kind of liberal arts type. Indeed, yeah. College. So uh, our students follow the bachelor program liberal arts and sciences, and in the first year they have an academic core, uh, which consists of uh, well various disciplines and. They all have to take these courses, uh, and while well, we use CORE to teach them uh, the basics of economics, basically. Um, yeah, and we use a problem-based uh, approach for that. So students mm -hmm. formulate basically their own learning goals based on uh, problems mm -hmm. we, uh, we show them. Yeah. Great. 
Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name's David Hope. Uh, I'm from King's College London, Department of Political Economy, and I'm a lecturer. And I've been lecturing King, uh, sorry, uh, the core uh, there for the last year. I was also heavily involved in the project uh, for the first couple of years after its inception. So I've been on both sides of the fence, uh, and you'll be hearing from me tomorrow about some of the things I've been doing in lectures uh, in the past year. So hello, everyone. I'm Gonzalo Paz, and I'm a new CL PhD student. I've been collaborating, I've had the pleasure of collaborating with Wendy and, and the rest of the core people for the past three years. So I'm here like to tell you a bit tomorrow about how we are teaching it, how we're coordinating groups of TAs and how to implement it a bit, and also to learn a bit about how, how you're using core in your institutions. Um, I'm Camila, uh, I'm from Chile. Um, and I am um, interested, well, I have been involved um, with CORE since I was a student, as Wendy mentioned. Um, but today I'm, I'm very interested in, in learning from everyone here and, and getting to know all the ways CORE has been used in your experiences. Thank you. My name is Sam Bowles. I uh, am at the Santa Fe Institute, where I do research on human behavior and the evolution of institutions and inequality. Uh, it was meeting Camila and her fellow students in Santiago years ago that uh, really was a big stimulus for me uh, uh, being part of this, along with uh, Camila Gonzalo, uh, when, when the uh, others uh, who have been uh, part of it. And I, I hope to learn more about how it's working out from those of you who are using it, how we can actually integrate new stuff into the curriculum to make it work better. Hello, uh, my name is Zahira Muhammad. I'm a lecturer in economics from the University of Northampton. <laughs> Northampton. Uh, I'm new to the core. Um, um, to be honest, I wasn't interested in it. Uh, at the beginning, I was asked by my line manager to teach it. But when I have a quick review uh, of the curriculum, I find it quite interesting, an innovative way of teaching. And most importantly, it is very linked to our realities, comparing with other textbooks. My concern is how to integrate it with more intermediate and advanced courses. Thank you. Yeah, I'm that evil line manager. Um, <laughs> I, I introduced core at uh, Cardiff Met. And this then is these, Marco. Uh, I, I'm Marco Gunderman. I, I, I uh, introduced it at Cardiff Met quite successfully. And I then decided to move to the University of Northampton so I could spread core further. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I am Thena Gali. I'm a lecturer in economics at the uh, University of Northampton. I'm really interested to uh, how to apply core economics in uh, economic study, especially quantitative methods, how to create effective and innovative you know, method. And be because the core economics is about public policy, so how we can use uh, you know, data analysis or statistics and apply it in economic studies. Thank you. Hi, um, I'm Lena Soda. I, I'm actually an actuary by background. Uh, I'm now working in academia, so I'm a lecturer in actuarial science, and for the next, first time next year, I'm going to be teaching economics. Whereabouts? Uh, at Leicester, at the University of Leicester. Mm -hmm. And I'm really looking for um, innovative ways of teaching and engaging with my student audience. And, and what I see from CORE is um, real, real life-based um, analysis of, of what's happened, because actuaries have been faulted for not predicting the global financial crisis. So because I'm going to be teaching um, core, using CORE on an accredited actuarial program, I'm very keen um, to take experiences from those that have used it to see what has and hasn't worked for them. Great. Thank you. <coughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Moshu Doladapo. I teach micro and macroeconomics, City University. I teach the foundation students, and I do have some of my colleagues already using the core economics, but we wanted to cut across the all international foundation level. So I'm here to look at the innovative and then engaging the students better with core economics. Thank you.
Hi everyone, I'm Sadadra Mukherjee. I work as a senior teaching associate in economics at University of Bristol. I've taught uh, economic principles one using core uh, with Alvin um, uh, sorry, for two. Is for the sorry. Really hard to, the mic we need a bit more volume. Oh, so the mic isn't for the room. So just speak up. A yeah, bit. <laughs> I've uh, <laughs> I've speak taught uh, uh, with core for two years, uh, EP one, and I'm interested to learn more about it. Uh, hi, my name is Daniil. I'm from Moscow, Russia. Uh, I'm a senior lecturer in National Research University Higher School of Economics, and I will be using core uh, the economy for the first time next academic year to teach principles. But main, my main project nowadays is uh, not teaching, but organizing the International Economics Olympiad for high school students, something that we think will sooner or later become the World Cup in economics. So not only the World Cup <laughs> in uh, soccer uh, is hosted by Russia this year, but also a World Cup in economics for high school students. And we have made the economy as the main textbook uh, for the syllabus of this Olympiad. So there are people from different countries here. If you have some connections uh, with high school education, then please come to me and we will discuss the participation of your country in the World Cup in economics for high school students. Thank you. Hi, I'm Richard Povey from uh, Oxford University. Um, I spend a lot of time teaching tutorials in microeconomics and macroeconomics. Um, and primarily, I'm just curious about core. I don't really know anything about it. Um, be interesting to see how it compares to the Oxford courses, and I'm hoping I might learn something and get some new ideas for teaching. So, uh, hi. Hello, my name is uh, Erwin van Sus. I'm uh, from the Netherlands, teaching at Un Utrecht University College, uh, which is Liberal Arts and Sciences, and just here to find out whether the core economy is better than the regular textbooks. <laughs> and probably the answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Orlando. I teach in two different places. One is Camden School for Girls, so I'm, uh, I will be interested in the high school um, World Cup and bring the cup to England. And um, also teach at Into City. Um, at the moment, I use basically Unit 17 as a revision for my six formers. Um, I'm doing that at the moment. And, and also a bridge to Year 13. Um, and in terms of Into City, I'm interested in seeing how you can adapt core for foundation year and sixth form. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Stefania Paredes Fuentes from Warwick, and we are I'm organizing a series of talks at Warwick in which we are planning to adopt uh, core, but we're doing it very slowly, so we might get there in one year time uh, for our joint degrees. Hi, my name is Christian Spielmann. Uh, I've been involved um, with CORE from, yeah, from its very beginning, actually. First um, uh, teaching it at, at UCL and now uh, at Bristol. Um, and I've also produced some of the supplementary mm -hmm. materials for, uh, for CORE. I will be running the next session for those who have used the material before, and we will just share uh, our experience a bit and see where the particular challenges lie. And, how we can tackle those. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Debbie. I'm from University of Exeter. And basically, I'm just here to learn a bit more about CORE because we're going to be introducing it this year for the first time. So any experiences or lessons learned would be much appreciated. Thanks. Hi, my name is Carlos Cortinas. I'm also from the University of Exeter. Uh, I've been involved with CORE, we're helping with the revision and then with the empirical project sides. And this year I volunteered to introduce CORE um, to our uh, students doing minors, so a class of about 450. And I'm here to learn a little bit more how to do this in practice. It's really scary, but very exciting. <laughs> Uh, hello, my name is Dan Rigby from the Economics Department at University of Manchester. I just taught Eco uh, Micro 101 to 850 students using Core, which was an interesting learning experience for <laughs> me, possibly them, so I'm here to <laughs> reflect and improve. Hi, I'm Stephen Wright from Birkbeck in London. Um, I, uh, Wendy asked me to review the entire draft of Core uh, in its first form, and so I sent back lots of scribbles all over it, which she paid a remarkable amount of attention to. So, I mean, I'm, I suppose I'm partly culpable. I'm, I think I'm particularly culpable for cause length, 
because the more people commented on the poll, <laughs> uh, the more they added, and, and, and it just got longer and longer. And so I'm, I'm, I like to apologise officially for that. But having, having, having put in the effort of reading it, I thought, oh, well, I'd better bloody teach this. And so I've been teaching it for three years, uh, I've, uh, sharing the course. So I've, I think I've now, after three years, finally taught every single uh, module, every, every single segment of it. I mean, up to the capstones, which, which frankly, we never get round to, I'm afraid, of Burpec. But uh, that's one of the interesting questions, I think, mm -hmm. to raise is, is how people cope, what the average ratio of, of, the, of coverage is of, this, of core. Because my, for me, it's pretty low. And I, just for, for the people who are new to it, I think that's something to, to mm -hmm. raise. Hi, I'm Eileen. I'm from Oxford, but I'm also part of the core team. So I've been working on all three texts, um, but mainly responsible for doing economics. So if you have any pro um, questions about that, uh, let me know. Hi, my name is Humberto Llevador. I'm a professor of economics at Universitat Pompeu Fabra in Barcelona. Uh, you haven't taught core, despite I'm, being, I'm gonna be in three different sessions talking here, <laughs> but I've been involved in uh, innovation, teaching innovation, in particular in the use of experiments for the last 10 years at Pompeu Fabra. So there is an exciting session tomorrow talking about uh, the use of experiments. And besides that, next year we are starting a new uh, program, a joint program between economics and engineering. And the idea is to start using core for that uh, program. Of course, it has to be a selection of chapters because it's 10 weeks and you have to cover the whole book. It's impossible. Hello, I'm Fabio Rico. And I'm, I'm a teaching fellow and I'm a director of teaching at, at the University of East Anglia. Um, I've been involved uh, a bit in the core revision. Um, and I'm here today to talk about active learning, so how to uh, combine core with uh, innovative teaching. So I'm going to tell you about a uh, way to in introduce active learning in uh, peer instruction, self-assessment, and using online forums as well. Hello, everyone. I'm Shu Mikao. I'm from Harriet Court University, Edinburgh. Um, I'm looking into uh, first year economics teaching, in particular with very large class. Um, so uh, we are introducing CORE. We are planning to introduce CORE from this year. So I'm here basically to learn. I'm open to any um, you know, experience, good or bad. So I'll be very happy and interested to hear about uh, what everybody is going to see. Thank you. Hi, my name is Matteo Dettina. I'm a teaching fellow at the University of Bath. Uh, I'm also currently director of studies for undergraduate programs. Um, I've introduced CORE um, this year. I've introduced it for a cohort of 88 students, uh, politics with economics students and international development with economics. Uh, the interesting result was that in the past, these students, after taking first year classic economic uh, introductory course, they hated economics <laughs> and they didn't want to take any courses further. This year, we had a lot of students asking to take further options in economics uh, in their second year. So I'm trying to convince my colleagues uh, that that would be a good choice also for the straight economics students. Hi, I'm Anand Murugeshin uh, from Central European University in Budapest. Uh, so we, along with Michael Dorsch, we did pilot uh, the beta version in 2015 and uh, did give some feedback. and. Uh, since then, we have, uh, at least I have been using it only in bits and pieces because of the comprehensive nature. And I want to understand a little bit more of the nuts and bolts so to have a better hang of what I can use. Uh, same issue that I can't use everything.